G'day everybody and welcome to another Dr. Tractor video. Today we're covering Blue Obliterate's 4-0 uh, sweep in the Vortex Cup. Um, this tournament was done in the Arena Australis lobbies and the lobby that he's a part of is the Mighty Ducklets lobby. I had to remember that one. So we see a reasonably neutral matchup but you think the bulk of uh, this Mandibuzz is going to come through. He's going to use Span Shields. And wow, a really unusual switch there to get a little bit of energy onto this Nine Tails. And oh, at the last second, changes was going for that overheat and has changed it up just to land that weather ball. And ooh, I think he would have liked to have landed that overheat there because now a single shield is used and that's Farm City. And oh, an insta swap into Primate for the opponent. So this is pretty good being up a shield here for Blow. Obliterate. <laughs> I'm going to struggle with that today. And a switch out here to try and catch a move. Or no, just make use of this energy to force a shield. So there's that last shield down. And this Primate has... Oh no, and if the opponent hadn't have thrown there, he could have farmed down and had two charge moves potentially ready to go to take out the shield and take out this Primate. So down goes that Primate, just with a counter. And here is a close combat to take out. Oh, that's harsh. Second round here. Now, this is reasonably good for the opponent here. There's no Fire Punch, so Shadow Ball has to land. Ice Punch is going to do nothing. Uh, this looks a bit early, but it is a Shadow Ball, and look how much damage that does. Oh, and he's going for the Shadow Ball himself. Wow, this is an absolute Shadow Ball thong, and a no shield from the opponent. Oh, my gosh. If he had a shield of that, it was an easy farm down and would have been in a, quite a nice place. Um, down a shield, but yeah, up, up that switch, and now... It's an uphill battle for the opponent, but I mean, it ends up being great. <laughs> Absolutely great for Blow Obliterate. Um, Night Slash is coming in. It's going to take some shields here. Can he get to the... Oh, he does get to the next Night Slash. So, is the opponent going to shield and let this one go? No, it doesn't. Let's it go and... Ooh. Now, I thought this would be pretty close here. I thought Primate would have pressured here. Just double Night Slash and... There we go. So, a really good call on the bait there from Blow Obliterate. Goes for the weather ball, gets the weather ball, shielded, and just needs this other. Now this probably won't quite KO, and it doesn't. So he's forced to shield this up, and then he can just fast move down. Even though Dragon's going to resist, it's yeah, it's only two fire spits to take that one out there. So that's two nil here to Blow Obliterate versus Ping Pong Pow, and oh, oh, it's just not fair, is it? Crustle, and in comes Dragon Air. So insta swap into Mandibuzz because. He's thinking the Mandibuzz is best placed here against the Dragonair to set up sort of a positive scenario. And a little bit of lag here, a bit of fast move. Thanks, Niantic. Um, looks like it was fairly mutual and it was just waiting for the actual move to get thrown. Takes a Dragon Pulse. And my goodness, Mandibuzz should not be able to eat that without, uh, without a worry, but it can. It's kind of unfair, especially if you've got a really good IV Mandibuzz. So Crustle farms down. But Crustle does not want to be taking any of this. You're going to see how little damage x does. It, it, it just does nothing. And Rock Slide's even worse. So going for the Night Slash. Doesn't want to debuff this Primate. Going to get it low enough and going to throw the second one straight away. Doesn't want to take any more fast move chip damage here. And out comes Hypno. So Primate was not going to be able to get to any sort of other move. Um, the opponent, we don't know the movesets. The opponent needs to land a Shadow Ball, but he's got two shields. It, it's going to be actually quite a slow match, this one. The fast moves are doing a little bit of damage, but not too much. It looks like Ninetales is really doing a lot more um, energy generation here. So the opponent lets, lets that one go. It shields the Shadow Ball. That's huge. So he's at two Weather Ball now, Blow Glitterate. So if he can get this one off before any other charge room comes in. Oh, and it was a... It still needed more energy, the opponent. So the Weather Ball will take out that hit note, and that's a 3-0 sweep. So we're going to jump straight into round two, and man, that Mandibuzz just seems to be coming out everywhere here today. So it's not the greatest uh, against Wireless, purely because the Dark moves are resisted, and so it's relying on that Aerial Ace, which is... Uh, I'm just going to say, it's weak. It is a weak weak move even as squishy as wireless is um yeah there you go there's your answer
<laughs> so it's got to be Dragon Breath and Body Slams coming out from this wireless. Um, he's, he's up a shield though, so the opponent doesn't need to shield this and can just farm down from here. Um, Prime is coming in, and is he going to get to a Body Slam? Does get this critical Body Slam, I'm going to say, off to get that his shields back neutral, and he switches. Oh, this, that, no. One more counter of energy would have been perfectly, perfectly fine because they've lost switch advantage now. So, Blow Obliterate is taking full advantage of this. Hypno just doing some massive work to the Gallade here. Shield this one up and could either farm down or throw, depending on the situation. Uh, but happy to farm down, and now he's got a Shadow Ball ready to go, or an Ice Punch, depending on what comes in. Ah, uh, and out comes the Xylus to... I'm assuming this is not a bad play for the opponent. Soak up some energy, and out comes Lantern, and we've got a Lantern versus Primate. Um, win the No Shield scenario, and he's... Ooh, interestingly, he looked like he was going to go for that close combat, but has bailed out, just going double Night Slash. Oh, gets the boost. It's... It, kind of insulting really uh, but yeah one confusion from Hypno takes that out so we move in and wow out comes Snowy Castle this is one that I have not seen too much of um, in this cup and I mean you think it, it's it's not too much but look it's already at the second weather ball which is really gonna pressure here so blow obliterate just lets that one go throws the shadow ball if this gets shielded oh it doesn't and look He's quite tanky, but the confusions just do too much damage. And out comes Wallace, and oh my goodness. The energy on this Hypno is crazy. He has to shield up that Ice Punch, and out comes Primate, out comes Gallade, and this is not nice. There's uh, Close Combat will do a lot of damage. It's going to be neutral. Leaf Blade will do absolutely nothing. Um, and so the opponent does throw the Close Combat, and see, look, it only does half only gets through half of the Manda Buzz's HP and 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 then their aerial ace just completely takes it out so I mean this is just disgusting <laughs> um, I don't know I would really I should really find out the IVs from Blood Litter 8 because um, this Manda Buzz seems to be doing so much better than most things I've seen and he doesn't even need the close combat there just counters down to take it out now we're straight into the next matchup and you can see there's actually a fair bit of lag here for Blood Litter 8 um, Mandibuzz, and but it's just pups. They're only pups. Shadow Ball's gonna do. I'm not sure, but I'm thinking almost less damage than pup would. <laughs> um, so, wow, he gets a shield from his opponent, and he's throwing the second aerial ace right now, and doing just under half HP. So he needs another aerial ace. Doesn't get it. Gets countered down. Uh, Primate comes in and shields up here. This has got to be a Shadow Ball. There's no point throwing another pup. Um, there it is, and counted down now. So it has a little bit of energy, and out comes that lantern, which is quite interesting to see. It depends what the opponent has in the back, but this could be could be a tough one here. Um, and we haven't actually seen any of Blow Bluterate's lantern yet. He's pretty much just been running the same three Pokemon. And wow, look at the energy he's generating on this Primate. Absolutely huge. The opponent doesn't shield so all of that energy is now wasted completely wasted on that lantern um i mean this is gonna be mega ouchy close combat coming in hard and good night to that cast form right so moving on to round three now we've got frostlass into galvantula this is this is sort of uh who wants the shield kind of matchup you know um, so Galvantula does seem to get there first, and it is the Discharge, which does a lot of damage. <laughs> and Blow Obliterate, going for the Shadow Ball, we could have easily gone for the Avalanche, and now gets farmed down. Now, you don't get to a second Avalanche, though, so he still didn't matter, but, I mean, yeah, Avalanche does the job from there. So, Shield's up here, and it is the Lunge. Wow, the opponent has gone to Bait City, and it's come off. And Shadow Dragonite. He switched into Hypno and Blow Obliterate side. Gets the first shield. He's just farm. Is he farming? Oh, I thought for a moment there he might just go for the farm down. The opponent does shield. Is he going to get the... Oh, he gets the Dragon Claw. This is going to be close to KOing with the Shadow variant, but it doesn't quite get that. Oh, whoa. Whoa, that... Okay, so I'm, I'm saying that was a visual glitch. That had to be one of those... Um, Spooder comes back out and he switches into... I missed what the swap into was to catch. 
Oh, a Quagsire. But Quagsire, you got to think close combat at, the, at this range is going to take this Quag out. And oof, there it does, and he just needs another... Oh, he doesn't get to the Night Slash in time. The Spooder lunges to take out. So that's the first match we've seen Blue Obliterate lose. And now he's got Mandibuzz into Dragonite. And yes, um, possibly that. I couldn't quite read it, unfortunately, from somebody on Messenger. So he gets the first shield. Now these Dragon Breaths are really adding up quick against this Mandibuzz. Let's the Dragon Claw through, and the opponent switches into Primate, and a counter switch into Frostlass. So the Blow Obliterate would have been loving to have had that Hypno right now, um, but he's got Frostlass there. Avalanches are going to do a ton, and a no shield from the opponent. This, this is a big mistake because the opponent's basically in the same situation now, but with less energy against um, the Frostlass with the Spider there. So he does shield that one up there, throws the Avalanche, Avalanche gets shielded, and now it's a race to the next move, and Frostlass wins that race, right? Those Volt Switches are too slow. And out comes Dragonite, who does... Boy, oh, throws, he definitely needed to farm down there to have any chance of taking this one out and then winning CMP against this Mandibuzz, but loses CMP and down it goes. So 1-1 one, one now in round three, Blood Bluterate versus Otto Saha. Uh, we're back in and oof, Spooda does not want to see this. And a very quick switch into Quag and a little bit of a late switch there into, um, oh sorry, Frostlass. So shields up this first um, Stone Edge now, Quag is actually quite quick to get into those Stone Edges as well, and the opponent doesn't shield. So now he can two shield and potentially farm down here before he gets to the, the next, and he does! So big mistake from the opponent, we have the advantage, has now turned it over, and Frostlass has two Avalanches pretty much ready to go. So a lot wasted there, for unfortunately, for the opponent. Forced to two shield this spider and then it is going to have no extra energy where the ball's coming in and Spooder is going to down to faint city and in the back we have <laughs> that shadow dragonite dragon it, it's good look at how much that dragon claw does but this foul play is going to take out a really really big chunk of hp and I mean, this is now in weather ball range, and the opponent doesn't get to his next dragon horn time, and it wouldn't matter because the weather ball would have taken it out. So, on to round four now, where 3 0 for Blood Glitterate up against Brad Holland. And I mean, this is not the nicest lead, and it's insta switch. Very interesting. Insta switch into Hypno, leaving his primate available to take out that Crustle later. Ice Punches, not going to be doing a whole lot to Mandibuzz, unfortunately. Not Stab, super effective, but not Stab. And super effective Stab foul plays. Going to be doing much, much more. Can take another Ice Punch here if they want to, and they do. And they will get to the next foul play. So, are we going to see a shield here from Bro? No, lets it go. And now he has the opportunity to bring in Primeape and get a lot of energy. Nope, chooses to go for the Nine Tails, because... He recognizes there's still that crustle in the back, so he wants his primate to stay fairly nice and healthy and wants to keep those shields. So, are we potentially going for a farm down here? Oh my goodness, no way! Now, this Ninetales has so much energy here, throws away the ball, doesn't go shielded, insta swaps out, and we've got a primate mirror match now. So, this is actually a really closely poised match. Um, no boosts anywhere so far, and sneaks in the extra counter. That extra counter sneak in is such a big difference maker in these mirror matches. The opponent needs to shield this up, and they do. Oh, he gets another boost, so wow, that's just so much more HP down. Oh my gosh. Um, just because those boosted counters. And out comes Crustle, and still Crustle able to get it done. So Bro Obliterate going down in round one. Let's see if we can turn it around now. This looks good on paper. Whoa, an insta swap from the opponent. That is not ideal. That's a much closer matchup than giving up switch here, where now Primeape is just getting absolutely farmed down. Now Bro doesn't need to shield this. He can let it go and still survive. And then he's got a Shadow Ball ready to throw. But I'd be probably looking at throwing that Ice Punch out. So you've got to expect the Mandibuzz is coming back out. Oh, throws one extra Confusion there. 
Um, is he going to get... Yeah, surely he gets farmed down before he gets to the next Ice Punch. Oh, it's an Air Slash. Excuse me, this opponent has an Air Slash Mandibuzz. That is very, very different. That's why they insta-swapped out. And Crustle into Lantern. Lantern, not even going for the bait, just throwing straight Thunderbolt. Um, gets the shield and annexes a bait in return. So... This is this is um, this has got to be another X scissor. They're not in a rock slide. It is another X scissor and gets another shield and, and throws the thunderbolt as another bait. Opponent shields this one as well and then swaps into Mandibuzz. Um, I mean, and then gets Avalanche the switch Avalanche in. So. Oof, gave that one up, I'm going to say. Blow Bitter Rate was gifted it, and he took it. Now, interesting. Here we go. This is this is an interesting matchup, because Thunderbolt doesn't do that much. And an insta-swap to try and catch into the Meganium, and then Ninetales comes out. So this is so nice for Bro, Bro Bliterate to come out of this one, just with uh, just a ton of energy. Like, the opponent didn't even go up to the EQ, just through the Frenzy Plan, and... Out comes Crustle again, and an overheat. Right, this is the first time we've seen him throw overheat, and it doesn't get shielded. Oh my goodness, that's a GG's and a half. Crustle goes down to the overheat, and there's so much energy on this lantern against this Mandibuzz. This is not great. Those air slashes are completely resisted. It's going to be so much slower to get to any foul plays or shadow balls, depending on what moveset. And let's lets one go through and undercharges all right okay i think they've recognized what's happening here and they're just tapping down and there we go so congratulations to bro obliterate now one thing i want you guys all to know bro has only been playing sylph pvp since marsh cup so this is he's literally very new at pvp so a massive congrats to you dude uh you played that one awesomely um you had some great situations and you took full advantage of them so Awesome, well done. So, let's go. Um, so, if you're interested in joining a, a lobby and you're an Australian PvPer, get onto the Arena Australis Discord. I'll pop the link uh, down in the description and join a lobby. Join our colossal tournaments. Um, there's some really cool stuff going on there. And even if you're new, there's a channel just for you to help get some help. And um, we will see you in there hopefully, or in the next Doctor Trucker video. Have a good night. Bye now.